Hi everyone, this is Jordan Dunn, and you are very welcome to uh, watch today's video. The main topic of today's is highly requested. It's about uh, Delta Plus, a new variant um, first identified in India in 2020. And uh, another topic is about uh, um, uh, how effective of double vaccinations uh, in helping us to preventing the development of symptoms and uh, hindering the hospitalization. So let's go to, to go for the first topic. It's about Delta variant plus. So Delta plus first identified in India in 2020. And uh, an article from the BBC News, uh, and I will pop the link in the description box, uh, published in um, 23rd June, and it's named, the Indian official said its name is AY.1 K, K417M. Why we call these names? It's because the, in 417 positions, 417 amino acid on a spike protein, that K amino acid changed to N amino acid. And we can also find the same thing happened in um, beta variant and gamma variant. The beta variant uh, uh, first identified in, um, in SA and the gamma variant first identified in the Brazil. And the Indian official says it spread, it spread more easily, binds more, e binds more easily to lung cells, potentially resistant to monoclonal antibody therapy. And uh, monoclonal antibody therapy is the most uh, conventional way of treating the coronavirus by um, intravenous diffusions of uh, antibody to neutralize the, the virus. But uh, in fact, uh, um, some Western scientists uh, have mentioned that it's too early to jump into conclusion due to small sample size. The sample size that, that uh, Indian uh, official looked at is 163, 66, which is very small to, to successfully conclude um, and, and identify the variant. And the more, which means in the future, more um, samples are needed to consolidate our hypothesis. So the second topic is double vaccination, and this topic uh, and and this uh, information source uh, is from the Lancet uh, Infectious Disease uh, um, section, and I will pop the link in the description, and uh, you can you can check it and uh, see um, find all the related information on the article, in the article, and uh, it's said data about uh, seventy one uh, um. 31% less likely to experience acute COVID symptom after two doses of vaccination, and about 50% uh, uh, less likely to get long COVID if they become infected, and 73% less likely to be hospitalized, which means um, the chance uh, for, for infected patient to um, develop into severe disease is significantly decreased. And the most common symptoms for vaccinated and unvaccinated uh, patients, uh, p individuals, is anosomia, cough, fever, headache, and fatigue. Anosomia means loss of uh, um, and sense, like uh, the smells, cannot smell anything. And sneezing s seems the only symptoms that are more common in vaccinated group. Okay, that is pretty much everything that I want to cover today, and uh, I will see you next time.